of the 2001 Breeders' Crown. Two-year-old Colton Gelding Trot. They are off and trotting with brakes scapped out as the gate was swinging away. Really suspicious hang time and DNS a snapshot and crossing right on over goes Chips. Nino, Momone, Hanover closing up along the inside. Oh, you man landed in third. White Sand tight and outside fourth and parked. Lock Keeper got away in fifth. Wildwood Express is sixth away. Civil Action is on a break and it's back to hang time. ENS snapshot and distanced was really suspicious. Chips, Nino and Jim Doherty up top by two. The opening quarter was 28 seconds flat. Momone Hanover closing up in second. White Sand Titan got a seat in third. OU Man is fourth. And on the inside, following through fifth was Lock Keeper. Wildwood Express is tagging the leaders. Sixth in line to the back stretch. Hang time from seventh. And after breaks, gapped out our civil action. ENS a snapshot and really suspicious. Positions unchanged on the way to the half. First one to move to the outside was Wildwood Express from sixth. Cutting the first half is Chips Nino. Chips Nino a length up on Momone Hanover White Sand Titan losing a little ground and stalling from third. And there out of the pocket goes Momone Hanover and Bernal instead. Off a half in a minute flat. Pedestrian second split of 32 seconds. And up top in command is Chips Nino. And he rebuffed that challenge of Momone Hanover who went back in. White Sand Titan was hard spent early but is considering coming out again from third now stays in line. Wildwood Express is kicking in for Tony Kerwood. Now fourth on the outside. OU Man sticking in from fifth. Civil action trying to get back into it from sixth. Hang time is seventh along the inside. Then rolling wide over to head stretch was an ENS snapshot. They turned for home off three quarters in 130 and four. And Momone Hanover comes out again on Chips Nino. They enter the final eighth of the mile and Momone Hanover hits the front. El Nino along the inside is second Wildwood Express to the flank of White Sand Titan and OU Man. The second Breeders Crown. Two-year-old Colt Trot elimination is a head victory victory for Momone Hanover at the inside right there was Chips Nino then OU Man Wildwood Express and White Sand Titan in 159 and 4 looks like Momone Hanover edges out Chips Nino Hanover returns as Woodbine's seventh race winner in the second Breeders Crown elimination balanced image two-year-old Bay Colt from Money Blue Chip Owned by Robert Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario. Trained by Jan Johnson and driven to victory by Bernd Lindstad. Five wins in six starts this year. In his Breeders' Crown Elimination, 159-4 for Moment A. Hanover. We'll talk to Bob in just a few moments. First of all, Bernt, uh, you just got here from Sweden uh, quite a way to get here to get a victory in a racehorse. Yeah, it was pretty good, though, yes. Now, top of the stretch, you pulled out. Thought maybe you might have waited a little bit longer, but was that the plan at the top to try and run down Jim's Colt? Uh, the, the, the third qu quarter was very slow, so he grabbed only a bit too much. I have to move in, though, you know. And, and you actually thought you won the race, even though it was a tight photo. It was a tight photo, but I saw he won, though. He's, and he's obviously getting better, Bernt? Uh, yeah, he's raced good most of the year, and, and that's a really good colt. I think he's going to be very good next year, though. Okay, uh, enjoy your uh, stay up here in Canada, Bernt. Thank you very much. Okay, let's switch over to the owner, Bob Waxman, who's been with Bernt for years. And, uh, Bob, you have Pacers and Trotters racing tonight, but I know you get a little extra smile on your face when the Trotters win. I always do, especially trotting colts. Mo Monet Hanover, you're toting this horse uh, back in, I'd say, the springtime to me, and right now it looks like he's the colt you thought he would be. Oh, I think so, and you know, he's a little bit unusual in that he's a balanced image that's raced strictly on the Grand Circuit and not in the Ontario Sire Stakes. Um, top of the stretch, Bob, and coming down the stretch, were you thinking that Mo Monet was going to be the winner? Well, I wasn't really concerned about him being the winner tonight, and I know Burnt would take it easy tonight, especially with a hard racetrack and the surface the way it is this evening, so you know, I was relatively confident that he'd be in the top five. Okay, Bob Waxman, the owner of Mo Monet Hanover. We also heard from Burnt Ledge, the driver. A real tight photo. Let's get a look at it.